very often people ask me, but what does Maraschino taste like? And quite frankly, it's quite difficult to describe for somebody who never had it because it's a quite whimsical taste. Uh, you think of lychee or lychee, hint of roses and elderflower. It's very opulent, very bold, very intense and lingering. Now, how do we make Moraschino? First of all, the typical straw wrapped uh, bottle is still handmade these days. The product itself is a combination of the Luxardo Marasca cherry, which is a proprietary type of cherry, black sour cherry. The family of Luxardo, a sixth generation family, they own more than 22,000 cherry trees. The cherries are harvested, they are uh, steeped in neutral alcohol, and then they also keep a little bit of the branches, the leaves, and the, um, so the cherry with the whole pit is infused for about three years in large wood casks, like big vats. And after three years, the product is distilled in a copper pot seal. After that, it enters for two more years, what we call finishing, is where the aromas of the cherries, the esters, the compounds, are going to get married all together. And these are the esterification, that's what they, the geeky term uh, is called. Then is of course, um, you know, diluted and finish up with some sweetness and sugar, and it's ready to be enjoyed. And the Moraschino is truly the flagship of the Luxardo family that they've been doing it since Girolamo in 1821. The Peruvian Wish cocktail is three quarters of Maraschino Luxardo as well as three quarters of Amaro Dabano. And then I used one and a half ounce of a Peruvian Pisco. In this particular case, I used a Barsol Primero, which is a spirit obtained from Quebranta grape, which is non aromatic uh, grape. Stir together using an ice sphere so the dilution rate is much slower retaining their richness of texture, and also serve with the ice sphere that I previously used in the mixing glass. And it's garnished with the twist of grapefruit that releases these beautiful aromatic essential oils. And it goes very well with the maraschino because grapefruit and maraschino is a match made in heaven for me. And then I use lemon balm, which uh, some people also are familiar with, called a citronella. So there is a lot of citrus, with the herbaceous under notes of the Amaro, the Maraschino richness and funkiness, and the dryness of the Pisco.